Welcome to Let's Talk About That, the show about the show. I'm Stevie, and my right elbow has never been touched by my right hand. This week's guests went to town riding on a pony, stuck feathers in their hats, and called them hats. Please welcome Rhett and Link. <laughs> oh, God. That was frightening. Hi, guys. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Happy Great. Saturday to you. Hey, Stevie. Thanks gray for being Stevie? Here. Yeah. Well, okay. This is Gray Stevie. She's gone gray <laughs> and she's covering up with the Hey, bees. you know what? <laughs> Jump in, the water's fine. <laughs> I told you guys not to share that secret with everyone, but here we are. And I'm uh, swimming you, in the gray kinda, water. That opening kind of blew my brain a little bit. Which part? My right hand has never touched my right elbow yeah. until now. Do it, Stevie. <laughs> does this look cool when I do this? Does it make me look very cool? Because I'm feeling wow. like it does. You'd yeah, to, isn't that crazy? Yeah, you'd have to cut it off to do that. Mm. It'd be worth it. That's mm. so sad, Hand. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you, Hand, that you've never touched this elbow like this hand has. Huh, look, at, I've touched the elbow that you can never touch. And this is You sad realize too. that we could do this with a lot of different body parts. Your right foot has never touched your right knee. I hate to burst your bubble. Our right foot has never touched that's our what, right knee. Th that's what you felt was wrong with that situation. You <laughs> that thought she part. had found the only body part that couldn't touch a certain body part, and you were like, man. I didn't find anything, but it Jessica Sosby did Listen, find man, that. The childlike wonder is something I'm never going to apologize for. Oh that's my good. gosh, we have that's so good. much childlike wonder today because. Um, Mythical crew member Bethany is going to eat her first ever burger in her whole life. I thought you said she was going to have a child, and I was. <laughs> no, she will not be having any okay. any right. human children. But yes. what you did say yes. was Bethany has never in her life eaten a burger. A burger. I don't believe it. It is so I true. I believe that it is a setup just for entertainment purposes. Absolutely I not. I to believe it. <clears throat> Absolutely not. It's coming and it's amazing. Um, also, I put another Twitter scenario out there in the Twitterverse, and um, I'm going to be roasting you guys today, which I'm very excited about. Not uh -oh. my own roasts, um, but the roasts of the mythical beasts. Uh -oh. Um, oh, snap. But before all Who's of that, got thin skin? it's <laughs> beverage time. And this week's beverage is real weird. Yes, it comes in an IV bag. Yes. <laughs> I'm about to say, where's the. Okay, this is the Cave Shake. Uh, it's paleo. And the thing that's really weird about it is like the whole, I mean, not the thing that's weird about it, yeah, but. One of the many things. <laughs> the back says that it's a, a dessert snack meal replacement. So I was thinking like. It says dessert first. Is there like some kind of protein, but not really. Cause when you look at the ingredients, it's organic coconut milk, it's coffee. Fat, guys. And salt. It's got 100. First of all, it's just, this isn't the whole thing. One serving, and there's 1.4 servings in here, has 145% of your daily allowance of saturated fat. That feels good, though. What orifice are you supposed to put it in? It's coconut fat, so it's not like yeah, really it's, bad it, for it, it, you. It's, it's you just, know, it's not you keto. Know, you're you do? when you're on a ketogenic diet, your oh. fat ratio in your diet is like over 50%. So right, so you so you got to get a lot of good fats. Good for your brain. Makes you think. Ooh, if it only tasted great. That is salty. If I'm gonna say something positive, the consistency's good. Because it's liquid and it's a drink. Yeah. To me, this is. <laughs> to me, I love drinking meals. <laughs> to me, this is the best beverage that we've had besides Sky Juice. <laughs> really? I really like it. Okay, I was not exaggerating or lying about the Bethany situation with the burger. So- How did you discover that? So this? yeah, so what happened was, she was talking with Alex like weeks ago outside of my office, and it's- Where you eavesdrop on all conversations. Yeah, well, if Alex is involved in a conversation, I, it's a good one. Um, right, right, he only so, talks, <laughs> always eavesdrop. So um, I don't know how it came up, but uh, Bethany was just talking about how she's never had a burger before, and she's not a vegetarian, so it's just like, Weird. It was very weird, and so immediately when I heard She's this, not a vegetarian. Now your yeah. wife didn't have a hot dog for a very long time, which, right? Which I, 
understand a little bit more. It's still obviously nuts, but it uh, is a little bit more. Thank you. It, <laughs> it, it's a little bit more understandable because people because people know what's inside of a hot right. dog, which means it's probably not obviously nuts. I'm just saying. <laughs> she just, I guess, just n had never had one, and then um, and then it just became a thing. So I was, of course, like. You've got to have your first burger, and we've got to tape the whole thing. Um, what so did you I have so many questions. Yeah, so we They're did all that. About to be answered. And she's going to eat a burger for the very first time on LTAT. Take a look. Okay, so you knew that we were gonna have cameras in here. I did. But you have no idea what we're talking about today. No. You have a deep dark secret. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh. I do. <laughs> I've never eaten a hamburger. What's up with that? Why haven't you eaten a hamburger? I was a hot dog girl. I don't know. I think it kind of got to the point where I hadn't eaten one in so many years that I didn't want to How start. many years are we talking? I mean... Soon to be 25. Would you be willing to eat a hamburger for the very first time in your entire life? <laughs> Who's making it? But luckily, we have a little guy named Josh who's our food producer, yeah. and I've asked him to find the perfect hamburger for you to try, and you just have to take a bite. Are you okay with that? I am okay with that. Yeah? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so we're here at Proven Proper with Chef Samuel Monser. Dude literally wrote the book on burgers, American Burger Revival. I've read it, or at least like skimmed it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> read it. <laughs> I can't read. I've been hiding it for my whole life. <laughs> Anyways, we're here to make Bethany the best first burger of her yes. life possible. What are we going to do, man? Uh, from what I understand about Bethany, she's vegetarian, so we should definitely layer some veg on here. I'm thinking mushrooms. She's not vegetarian. She hasn't eaten red meat in 10 years. So she's vegetarian. She's, <laughs> she's vegetarian. Yeah. We're going to do grass-fed, grass-finished beef. That's what we use here at Pru and Proper. And all of our ingredients are going to be like kind of organic or sustainably sourced from here on out, so we don't have to talk about it anymore. I was thinking for the burger patty, we're gonna wanna probably smash it and kinda get it crispy because if someone that hasn't had red meat in a while probably is gonna be like a little taken back by raw, yeah, medium great. rare, rare. So we'll get it good and crispy and yeah. smashed out and then I think cheesy. We gotta rely heavily on like vegetables and cheese covering up the yeah. meat. Okay. Do you guys know if Bethany likes mushrooms? Bethany! Mushrooms! Anyways, I'm gonna try and bring back a memory for you. Fourth of July, 2015. Team? Uh -huh. You made burgers West at Hollywood. your apartment. West Hollywood apartment. You made burgers that had your pops Russian dressing on it. Uh -huh. It had pickles, classic. it had cheese, it had burger. That is the classic burger. Our goal isn't necessarily like, we want you to like this sandwich. Okay. You gotta like turn off that instinct okay. in your brain. Yeah, Our like goal this. is to give you the best first burger experience possible. Yep, you Pops Roadside party. Burger. Yeah. Pops Roadside Burger. Are you fine making that? Yeah, yeah, we can make that. Let's do it. This is like mostly brisket and shoulder clod. Instead of smashing it on the flat top, I like to press it out ahead of time. We use like a hybrid one. It's a cross between brioche and Portuguese, so it has more gluten, less sweet. So I have mild yellow Tillamook cheddar. And then also though, the Cabot sharp white. Texture is yeah. super important in cheese on a burger too. So like you get Tillamook, melts awesome. Yeah. And then you get like the flavor punch from the Cabot. Yeah. Support it, man. So this is gonna be a legit <laughs> burger. We want to get all that crispy goodness. Oh, that's going to be fun. So we can let that rest. There's a little bit of Russian on the bottom. It's the crispy cheese oh, yeah. edges. I just yeah. want to freaking eat this myself. And then from here, totally just go like diner style. Way too many pickles. I don't think there's such a thing. All right, dude, I trust you on this, man. I like a pickle on the plate, but I don't want it to look like it's a sloppy mess for her. I'm excited yeah. for Bethany, man. I just had a big emotional moment inside my own head. It's going to be delicious. You don't look super excited. <laughs> Either way, we have a Mountain Valley spring water. Chef Sammy, please present to her Pops oh Roadside Burger. We went classic with like <laughs> just a roadside burger. Like this is something that I think everybody in America that grew up eating burgers is familiar with. Um, so this should be maybe your first shot to. Okay. Um, Even if you never eat a burger again, it's perfect because that'll never live up to what this is. And, and it's not because, by the way, it's not because I made it. It's because of the ingredients. Um, homemade zesty garlicky pickles, my pops Russian dressing, okay. caramelized onions, two cheddars. I don't white. eat a lot of cheese, so. I mean, if, if you don't eat a lot of cheese, cheddar I think is the cheese for you. 
I'm learning a lot. So this is just like a simple, clean, non-intimidating burger made with the best possible ingredients by literally the best man in a circle of 14 million people to do this job. I think you're gonna love it. Okay, well let's try without further ado. <laughs> As you guys are both watching me. <laughs> Looks juicy. What's going through your head right now? Oh my god, you're gonna kill me. No. <laughs> it tastes like a chicken sandwich. <laughs> That's great. That's do you, good. Do you love chicken sandwiches? I do. Are you happy right now with like what is happening in your mouth? I'm like concerned because I want to take another bite, but I don't want to make myself sick. Do you want me to show you how to make a proper bite out of a burger? I'm so glad you asked because I thought that maybe actually we all three could have a bite. Here's what the you triple do. bite. The triple bite. The triple bite. Common technique in mm -hmm. burger eating the triple bite. I'm gonna show you, Sammy's gonna show Lots you. Then you just do yeah. the best you can, right? Ready? Okay. Yep, 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 oh. that's exactly. See, because what happens is the first bite you get really excited and then you have to keep biting. Why, why do you, why do you have, to, oh my God, you're just putting mm -hmm. the whole thing. I'll do a baby triple bite. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 you don't have to swallow it. Spit it onto the plate. But I'll say. Baby bird it to me. It was it was too much for our first time. I literally just spit that out on the plate. You're mm -hmm. eating it. That's whatever. It's really delicious. All right, Bethany, this was an important moment. We need a final verdict. What do you think? It's really good. It's good. I did enjoy it. I enjoyed watching you guys devour it. But More? tomorrow, would you come back here and eat the same burger again? I'd come back here, because this is a lovely place and you're a lovely <laughs> human. Um, I'd probably get a chicken sandwich, though. I have that. <laughs> wow. Hey! <laughs> Clapping! She said it tasted <laughs> like a chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. You know what? There are worse things that could be said about a burger, though. Yeah. I can think of a lot. I am so jealous, because I love a good burger. I'm going there. Now, here's the thing that struck me when like they're bringing it out. It was like I was watching a dramatic episode of The Bachelorette, except hmm. the last guy for the rose was a burger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like two guys like, exactly. please love our burger. Yeah. Get in the hot tub with our burger. Yeah, well, you don't, oh. want, to, you, you don't want to do that. Um, all right, so Bethany's had her burger, uh, <laughs> but, but we still need to get roasted. And so that's what we're about to do. So. Um, I, I put out a Twitter scenario. That's when I ask the mythical beasts. Um, I, I, I give them a scenario, and then I ask for uh, suggestions of what to do or say in those scenarios so that I can live through them. Uh, and this week I asked, scenario, Rhett and Link are sitting be beside you, not behind you. Here we are. Um, you can only give one of them a compliment, and the other you have to roast. What do you say, and who do you say it to? This and boy, do we get some good ones. <laughs> Should we say before we do this that no hard feelings? Y you might need to even, say that to yourself. Even if, <laughs> <laughs> even if his feelings get hurt, or my feelings get hurt, we're not... We're not upset. That's right. And we'll get over it. This, we, this is a mantra. Yeah. We embrace this. But here's the other thing, like roasts aren't funny unless they're funny. So I don't think that you're really gonna get offended by anything that I've chosen. I kind of left the ones out that I feel like didn't really meet the meet the standard okay. I was looking okay. for. Right. So okay, I'm gonna try and gotta, alternate as much as possible. But gotta yes, wrap that Link, ego you're, up, you're good. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna alternate. Link? Yeah. You're a great guy. How? I'm just reading off of Twitter comments. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't think you. Yeah. I, didn't I don't write think questions any of these. are part of it. <laughs> well, if I'm gonna get a compliment, I'm gonna <laughs> get it. Rhett, you are a great guy. <laughs> okay. In quotes. So we're getting the vibes here. Yeah, yeah. Rhett, you are a very stable genius. Link. You once mistakenly drank unfiltered cat poop water. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember that too. Yeah. That's kind of uh, more of a fact. It was pretty I mean, funny. Honestly. Un unintentional. It's always a good sign <laughs> where you can just state unequivocal facts about someone and therein lies the roast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Link, did it hurt when you fell from the vending machine? Cause you a snack, wink. <laughs> Rhett? You're a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Rings true. Rings true. Uh, it's not the first time I've heard that. I like the theme they went with for yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. Rhett, you're like a secret menu item at Taco Bell. Link, 
you're like a secret menu item at Shoney's. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, those type of secret menu items are someone's last day working at the griddle. Shoney's, Shoney's reference. Link, the fact that you are so clumsy and yet so successful and alive is truly inspiring. Sound like a roast. You know what community college students and cats have that you don't? A chin. (laughs) Yes! That is a... Hey, that was, hey, put that on a plaque. I'd like to. I'd like to be able to whoop that one out, like a maybe a laminated card. Whoop it out. Just to yeah. whoop it out. Yeah, just whoop, whoop it, it out. out <laughs> whoop! There it is. Talk to the laminated card. Okay, Rhett, you're a crocodile. Link, you're like the bird that cleans his mouth. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I don't know how offended I should be because I'm totally lost. Uh, am I? Am I? Are you guys lost too? Uh, no, nope. a little. <laughs> okay, good. Um, I feel better about being roasted. Uh, <clears throat> Rhett, you have a smile as wide as Link's forehead. That was a com- that was a combo. Yeah, that was a two for one. Um, that wasn't a very efficient. Rhett. You look beautiful as always. Link? <laughs> I'm not writing this. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. You're not writing it. You're not writing it. You look like a chalk eraser after it's been used to clean chalk. Ouch. Yeah. Dusty. Oh. Your hair. Oh, my hair. Got it. Link? You have beautiful eyes. Rhett? You have the body of a string bean. <laughs> what about my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> and this this one I this one I um I liked a lot. Link, my middle school boyfriend called. He wants his t shirts back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Ugh. Rhett, I hope my future boyfriend calls you because he wants his style back. Cause. Because she wants to date someone that dresses like you in the future. Wow, okay. Um, and then finally... I'm not available. Link, you're the reason I look forward to GMM every morning. Rhett, you're the reason the expanded format failed. <laughs> <laughs> and that was written by Matt Carney. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Writer extraordinaire. Okay, <laughs> Carney, I know um, where you sit. <laughs> so not so bad. Not so bad. I mean, I picked some good that was, ones. You know, I think yeah, I, I think it's, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I, I think it's healthy. You yeah. know, it's 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 like a everybody needs that. <laughs> yeah. we we need to be taken down a notch or two. Yeah, yeah. right. Occasionally. So, um, so thank you, Mythical Beasts, uh, and thank yeah. you. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And now our final line. Until Until next LTAT, keep on BYMB.